guys and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be talking to you all about Mr Charlie who just put his head down. Um, so I've had loads of comments recently asking where Chunk is, what's going on with Charlie. So I thought I'd do a video today while I'm giving him a groom and giving him a bit of a makeover because he looks pretty scruffy to say the least at the moment. Um, so while I'm doing that I'm going to talk you through what's happening with him, where he's been, where he's going, all of these things. Um, but yeah, so let's jump into the video and we'll start tidying him up and we'll talk through what's happening with Chunk. So as you can see, Mr Chunk is looking very dirty and very much like he's nobody's pony at the moment and that's because he has been living out in the field and um, he's been coming in on a night just with it being winter but he's basically been left to live his best wild muddy life um, that he absolutely loves. He's had a few grooms but he just honestly gets so dirty so quickly especially in winter. So today I'm going to be giving him a really good groom. I would have been bathing him. We've been having a few issues with the water and things so we've not been able to do that. So we're going to start firstly by raking through his extremely muddy feathers. There are There's a lot of dry mud on those. Um, so as I'm doing that, I'm going to explain to you where Charlie's gone because I've had so many questions and so many comments saying we never see Charlie. Where is he? Have you still got him? Have you sold him? Literally so many questions. Um, and no, I haven't sold him. He is still at my parents' farm with all the other horses. It's just... In winter, Charlie lives kind of his best wildlife. He's obviously still looked after just as well, but he's literally just turned out in the field and he's not ridden or worked. And the reason for this is because he has early onset arthritis. And we found last year that leaving him out over winter and not asking him to do any work or anything like that really benefited him. It meant that he could just chill and wasn't put any strain on his joints during the colder weather which is when we found he's worse so that was what we've done all winter so he's literally just come in um to go in his table on an evening and for grooms and things but he's not actually been ridden um or had sort of daily exercise he's just exercised himself in the field but which he does anyway because he tends to canter up and down quite a lot so today is the start of Charlie coming back into work so I always start by giving him a really good groom and normally a bath so he will have a bath shortly. Now today the weather was absolutely glorious but it's due to dip again um, so I'm going to bath him when it stays consistently nice because otherwise he will just get really muddy when the rain comes again. So I always rake through his feathers which does thin them out but that's actually what we want um, during the summer months because he has really really thick feathers. So I'll just thin those out and then I brush them through and as we all know I'm an absolute show sheen addict or show shine um, so that's what I've put on his feathers and it honestly it works wonders. This can get through absolutely anything as you'll see with his mane shortly because his mane was super tangled from the recent winds we've had.
my plan was originally to plait Charlie's mane because it does help him in summer, especially on warmer days, having it a bit off his neck. But I couldn't find plaiting bands anywhere, they've literally disappeared. So for today I'm just going to brush it through, make sure that it's all nice and conditioned and then when I come to bathing him and cleaning all of his mane and shampooing that and then putting a really heavy conditioner on it, then I will plait it up next time. So plaiting bands are on the to buy list. Next up was Charlie's even worse tail. He has the thickest tail with so much hair so it always takes you forever to brush through because each kind of section curls around itself because it's quite curly uh, which makes it an absolute nightmare to brush through but again Shoshin has my back and really helps me out with that. I'm, this video isn't actually sponsored by Shoshin, I just love it so you guys know that if I love a product I share it with you. So to answer everyone's questions about what's happening with Charlie now, now that he's had a groom I'm going to start riding him. So we'll start by working him in the arena just because obviously he's not been ridden for quite a few months. Normally I do lunge him but if you remember back Charlie is quite naughty on the lunge, he tends to book and canter about and sometimes try and kick me. So we might skip the lunging bit and just jump straight on his back. Um, and start with some gentle work in the arena with him to get him nice and loose and listening and then eventually this summer we'll be having lots of nice hacks out on the field because that is what Charlie enjoys, it's what I enjoy with him so we'll be having um, lots of hacks out with him just around our hay field and around the land at home because we don't have great access uh, to hacking at home. So that is the plan with Chunk this summer, so you'll be seeing a lot more videos involving him because I know a lot of my followers absolutely adore Charlie because he's such a cheeky chappy. And I know a lot of the people who have followed me for quite a long time started when I first got Charlie. So now that the warmer weather has hit, it is definitely shedding season. Now I find when the horses shed their winter coat super satisfying, but my gosh, it is just a nightmare when you have so much hair to deal with. After grooming Charlie, I was literally covered in it. I felt like I was eating it. There was just hair absolutely everywhere. And I think I could have made another mini chunk from what came off him. Um, he obviously sheds a lot because he's a really heavy winter coat from being a traditional cob. But I just use my shedding comb. These are really handy because they 
unhook so you can use them as like a really big scraper to get loads of hair off and it must have felt so nice for Charlie having all that excess dead hair removed. He's been rolling in the field the last few days on these, these massive white patches of fur where all of his hair has been coming off so I just thought I'd give him a helping hand and get as much hair off as I possibly could. And let me know in the comments below if you find shedding season really satisfying. I know I do, but I definitely don't enjoy being covered in lots of pony fur. And once I'd gone all over Trunk's body with the shedding comb, I then went in with my magic brush, but to be honest, it was picking up that much hair that it was kind of pointless because it was just getting clogged up every two seconds. But that was him basically done. So by this point, after he'd shedded half his body hair, he was feeling very impatient and Trunk likes to let you know when he's had enough. So he started his traditional protest of putting his leg up like, Mum, I've had enough now, put me back in the field, I want my grass. But even though it was just a groom, I think he looks so much better than earlier. We've got all of those tangles out. His feathers are looking so much better. And even though it took me absolutely hours to get him to this stage, at least he is now ready for his bath. So guys, that is the end of today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you're looking forward to seeing some more of Charlie in upcoming videos. So I'll leave this here. Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on that bell icon so you get a notification every single time I post and I'll see you all soon. Bye guys.